Hi guys, welcome to the CoCamp World videos. I'm Jordan from CoCamp HQ, and today we're going to be building part two of our super awesome game, Dragon Rider. We're going to be putting them eggs in that them dastardly bad guys stole, and we're also going to be putting in them dastardly bad guys to give our dragon a really bad time. How awesome does that sound? Let's get ourselves logged in so we can get started. Now that you guys are back in CoCamp World, the first thing we need to do is locate your game. Now you may just find it on this little dashboard up here, or if you've got loads of games like I have, you might have to type in the name of the game, Dragon Rider, there's mine right there, click on it, and your game will open to your first level. How awesome does that look? Now, the first thing we're going to add to our game is them eggs that the bad guys are trying to steal. So if we head over to level 1, add an actor, I'm going to call mine eggs. You guys can call yours whatever you like. Click add to lock it in. And we need to find the egg animation. So if we click on animation and type in egg. That will bring up the egg animation. You guys can pick whatever you like really. There's some donuts in there that will make the game pretty cool. Once you've picked your animation, click on use the sprite sheet. And just because it's one frame, we don't actually need to set the animation. But we still do need to fix the collision box. So let's shrink it down to the size of our egg. Awesome. Now the next stage is to dot these all around our level so our dragon can fly and collect them. Let's head back into level one. Scroll right the way down to the bottom and click on the active button and you can just simply drag your eggs on. Awesome. I'm just gonna drop them all over my level. I'm gonna scroll up, drag them over so our dragon can basically try and fly and collect them all and get them all back. If you guys want to pause this video now and place your eggs all over your level 1, your level 2 and however many levels you've got, once you press unpause, I'll be right here so we can carry on. See you guys soon. Welcome back guys. I'm sure you've put your eggs all over the place and that's going to be awesome. It's going to make your game really, really fun to play. But now we need to code the eggs. So head over to where it says level 1 up here. Click on the eggs and then click on the code tab just here at the top. Now you guys know the first function we put on any actor is the setup function, and that's always a when this actor is created, and it's always called setup. Awesome, click add to lock it in. Head over to actor, and the ones we're gonna put on here are set can rotate when hit to no, and set sensor to yes. Awesome, that's our egg setup. Let's put some code on the dragon so she can collect them eggs when she flies into them. So head over to dragon again at the top. Head over to the code tab and we're going to add another function. And the type is going to be when this actor hits another actor. So when this dragon hits another egg. I'm going to call it collect egg. Click the add button to lock it in. And here at the top is the most important bit. When this actor hits A. So when the dragon hits an egg, we want to remove it from the screen. So head over to actor, scroll right the way down to the bottom, and we're going to remove an actor. Drag that over, and it says remove this. That's not right, so we need to head over to variables here, and we're going to grab a collided with. Drag that over to where it says this, and cover over, remove, collided this. Let's launch our game and see if we can collect them eggs. Awesome! When I fly into the eggs, they disappear because the dragon has collected them. Let's see if I can get as many as I possibly can. It was pretty easy for me to collect all them eggs, so let's make it a little more harder. Let's add some dastardly bad guys to try and stop the dragon from getting the eggs. Now that we're back in CoCamp World, let's add them dastardly bad guys. Now these bad guys are going to fly from left and right, up and down, trying to get to our dragon to stop her from getting them eggs. So let's head over to Actor, click on the plus button. I'm going to name them bad guys because they're dastardly bad guys. Click add to lock it in, and then we're going to head to add an animation, and my bad guys are going to be bats, because bats can fly, and they're pretty bad guys, but you guys can choose whatever you like, so just type in bat, I'm going to go with this yellow alien bat right there, he looks like a nasty dude, and click use this sprite sheet to lock it in. Awesome. Now you guys know what you have to do here, you have to select your animation frames, and shrink that collision box right the way down so it's nice and tight to our actor. The next thing we're going to do is place some of these guys 
on our scene. Head over to bad guys at the top, click on level one, and you want to scroll right the way down to the bottom, and you want to place four or five of these bad guys over your level so they can try and make your dragon not get them eggs. So there's my fourth, and here's my fifth. I'm gonna go with six right here at the top. Awesome, I've put my bad guys on. Let's get the code in to make them fly. Head over to level one, over to the bad guys, back to code, function, you guys know where it is. It's a setup function. When this actor is created, it's called setup. Awesome, click add. In our setup function, we're gonna head over to actor. We're gonna grab a set can rotate when hit. We're gonna set that to no and we're gonna set a sensor and we're gonna set it to yes. We want our bat to be a sensor. Awesome. Now that our bad guys are set up, we have to do the code to make our bat move and we want our bat to move in random directions at random times. So the function we're gonna add is every X seconds and the, t the name of it is gonna be move. I'm gonna click on that add button. We've got this every X second box here and I'm just gonna put 0.3 in that box, that's half a second. We want our bad guy to move in different directions, so we're gonna head over to actor, and we're gonna scroll down, and we're gonna grab a set X speed, and we're gonna grab a set Y speed. Awesome. Now, because we want that randomness, we need to use random numbers. So head over to maths, and grab two random numbers, and put them in the speed boxes. Random number, random number, and the first box is gonna be a negative number, negative 200 for me and the second box is a positive number 200 for me again with the y speed negative 200 in the first box and 200 in the second box this should make our bad guys move left and right up and down at random times making it really difficult for our dragon to collect them coins let's test it out awesome our bad guys are moving left and right up and down at random speeds and at random times trying to catch us, trying to stop us from getting them dragons. But you may notice that nothing actually happens when you hit a bad guy. You just float right over the top and nothing happens. So we need to fix that up in our code so that when we hit the bad guy, our scene restarts. So let's, let's head back into Code Count World and get that started. Welcome back to Code Count World. Let's get that restart scene code in. So head over to bad guys, head over to the dragon, and then we're going to head over to the code tab. Under the code tab, we're gonna add a new function, and that is gonna be when this actor hits another actor, and it's gonna be called hit bad guy. Click the add button. When this actor hits A, this very important bit at the top, we're gonna change that to bad guys, so when the dragon hits a bad guy, and then we're gonna head to scene, and we're gonna restart the current scene. Awesome, let's test that out and see if it works. So I'm actually gonna purposely try and hit a bad guy to see if our scene restarts. Let's see if I can hit one. Oh, flying, here's one right here. Let's see if I can get it. Awesome, our scene restarts as soon as we hit the bad guys. Good work, guys. Well, there you have it, guys. Congratulations on completing part two of Dragon Rider. Join us next time where we'll be putting some awesome fireballs in our game. See you next time, guys.